Um, so we have uh, this book, and it, Victor may already have signed all the copies. I'm not sure, but we'll, but we'll make sure that if you want to uh, own a copy of this book, we're going to be talking somewhat about it. Uh, after the event, we're going to go into the other room for a reception, uh, and it should be, you know, the food is always yummy, and there's drink as well, and we hope you'll hang out with us for a while afterwards, and uh, definitely in that time get a copy of the book, and I'm sure Victor will sign it for you. I will. Yes. Okay. So what's going to happen is we're just going to unplanned have a conversation, an interview about the interview. Um, which I find very exciting. Um, we met, we've known about each other a bit, and then about a year ago we had lunch, and we decided to do a couple of things, this being the first. We're hoping that after this we will get you into the studio and have an interview, yeah. um, maybe do a poem talk. Yes. So I love that. Yeah. More to come. So, and then if you don't mind, I'm springing, in, springing this on you, but... I wanted to do somewhere toward the end uh, an interview game. Uh, it's a lightning round where I just say the name of a person or a situation or a place or an event, and you just say whatever you want about it. Okay. In a, a lightning round. You game for lightning round? That's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lightning. Fantastic. I live with lightning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In 1995, you said the following Andy, Warhol, that is. Andy taught us how to interview. Never have any questions ready. Treat it like a cocktail party. Uh, you, does that sound right to you? And yeah, if so, closer, what is that? Does that bode well for this interview? <laughs> <laughs> what are the drinks? <laughs> no, we that's, get it? we're it's getting fine. there. That's fine. Oh, right, I, uh, cocktail party. I'm sorry. That's all right. We blew it. No, that's fine. I don't want to drink. Um, the, the, uh, what what happened was that. Uh, I've been interviewing William Burroughs <clears throat> unsuccessfully, not getting much out of him because right. he was very kind of a silent type guy. Then one time I visited him in, out in Boulder, Colorado, and he invited me to have dinner with him and his friends. And he was so brilliant at dinner. You know, he was drinking and smoking pot, and he was just brilliant. He was just talking about all these things. And I was just, I looked at my God. He said to me, the best stuff always gets left off tape. Right. So I, at that point I decided, I'm going to interview this guy over drinks and dinner yeah. only. Yes. And, 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 and this whole book, is a series of dinner parties. It's table talk, essentially. Yeah. The yeah. whole book is table talk. Yeah. You know? An old form, which has been kind of forgotten, but used to be very It's popular. an 18th century form right. in, in a lot of ways. Table talk with Coleridge, et cetera. You know? Exactly. It's, and and it's, it's fascinating. It really is yeah. a different, different uh, view of things. So, And Andy had this, sort of the same thing. The main thing about not having any questions is because if you have questions, you go in with a preconceived notion of what you yeah. want in the interview. Right. And really what an interview is, for me, is a voice uh, portrait. You're getting a right. portrait of the person through the, through the voice. And the thing is to get them to talk as much as you can and not say and hold right, back, but right. them talk. Because right. what they choose to talk about and how they talk shows you who they are to some extent. Yes. Right? So if sometimes you have an assignment for a magazine. You've got to go and talk about the new album or something, right? But most of the times when I was working for Interview Magazine, I could, I did, they said interview so-and-so however you want, you know, and yeah. stuff. And yeah, that. yeah. So in creating informal conversations and interview. Andy really had an enormous effect upon the, the uh, development of journalism. The whole idea of People journalism magazine, as an interview. People magazine comes out of interview. Yeah. And that's the most successful magazine in the world. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Every, it's just an article you're talking about as a person. You know? So that's step so, one, and it's a radical, brilliant step. But there's a, there's a step two that I think you achieve. And I got this from just reading all the interviews I could and get trying to ab abstract from that, extract from that a sense of something else. And I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask about it through an example. Uh, this was the dinner. This was at Burroughs' place in New York, I think. Mick Jagger, William Burroughs, and Andy Warhol. That yeah. is a frightening <laughs> prospect, particularly with Jagger in the room. Yeah. It's 1980, and... You did something really amazing. Jagger decided he would be an asshole. But it's for a well, reason. There's a, re a reason for that, you understand. There's a good reason. For because that. he is one? No, no, no. no. Jack, Jack is a very nice guy. He really okay. is. Uh, no, right. that's not true. He was unhappy about being summoned to this dinner. No, no, no. no. Dinner. But the thing is, uh, this is a book about the 20th anniversary of Rolling Stones. Right, right. right. And the guy who edited it, David Dalton, had gone to Burroughs and right. said, Keith Richards really wants you to write something for this, right? Right. And Burroughs said to me, you know, 
writing an article that takes a couple of weeks. I don't know if I really want to do it. It's 500 bucks. Blah, blah. I said, well, let's invite Keith to dinner and just make the tape, and that'll be the your Keith page. Richards, not Mick Jagger. No, no, Keith Richards, right. right. And I called Keith's manager, and he was really keen to do it. He said, oh, yeah, I'd love to do that, you know, and stuff. But time went on. It became harder and harder to pin him down to a time frame. You know? Right, right. And I had a deadline for, for the book in my, in 